Why do the US hate Ngozi Okonjo Iwala so much? The United States is unrelenting in its avowed determination in blocking the possibility of Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, Nigeria's former coordinating minister of the economy, from occupying the top position of Director General of the World Trade Organization. Relenting the United States again through a spanner into the possibility of her emergence by suggesting that the race be reopened. In other words, the race that produced Okonjo Iwala be cancelled and a fresh one conducted. This shocking proposition was made by U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lightizer, who also said that an experienced hand is needed for the high-profile job of Director General of WTO. Lightiza, who was speaking to the BBC, said the job is for someone with real experience in trade, not someone from the World Bank or a development person. An obvious reference to Okonjo Iwala, who has already secured over 90% endorsement by member countries of the WTO and set to become the first African and woman to head the body. The U.S. is still kicking irrespective of the fact that Okonjo Iwala had gotten the backing of 110 out of 164 member countries. The U.S. is the only country standing between her and the job. Following the lack of a consensus, the WTO had postponed the General Council meeting to consider the appointment of a new Director General till further notice. The new position by the U.S. as stated by Lightiza confirms that there is no way the Trump administration will be persuaded to back Iwala in its remaining weeks in office. He said the WTO is massively in need of reform, especially its disputes, resolving appellate body, which according to him, he involved into a body creating a common law of trade, taking away benefits that members had negotiated for and putting a restraint on things that had been conceded. The truth of the matter, however, is that the appellate body of the WTO has been rendered mm -hmm. inactive by Donald Trump's administration, vetoing the appointment of new judge and its unilateral trade war with China and other Western countries, including Canada. Iwala's fate may at the end of the day lie on the incoming administration of Joe Biden. However, the US president-elect has not made any statements about his preference. Be that as it may, the truth remains that the US is playing self-preservative politics. In line with the Trump administration American first policy, the U.S. Trade Representative says due process has not been followed in our emergence. How ridiculous can this be? This is an outright lie between being told to continue to push its hidden agenda, which is to block by all means the emergence of Iwala. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, that is your problem. You see, um, yes, I agree with you that positions are supposed to be occupied by people with experience, with practical experience. Do you understand? Looking at Okonjo Iwala, of a truth, she hasn't gotten any practical experience on trade but as 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 a practitioner and also as um, as an academia in um in a in a, in a 
in economy. Someone who has a basic knowledge of what the economy is actually talking about. Someone who can tell you the position and the strength of the economy can still fit in to such a position. I know that experience counts, but sometimes academians with basic academic experience will speak who will still serve as a counselor to those that want to go into one uh, position or the other can still fit in. And that is Okonjo Iwala. Okonjo Iwala is a financial expert, an economist, and a consultant. When talking about trade, trade has a lot to do with commerce. It has to do has a lot to do with economics. Trade has a lot to do with business. All these things are still under finance. Without finance, these things cannot function. So Okonjewala has all of this in her. So you're saying that because she has not had any experience in trade doesn't doesn't make sense. She is a consultant and she is an advisor, a counselor on economic matters. So you think what you're saying, I, 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 in fact, I, I can sense some atom of, um, of, 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 of biasness in this appointment. Yes, I can sense some atom of biasness. And this whole thing started with Donald Trump. I'm happy that he's living. I'm happy that he's living. All these things are what made... Uh, uh, Americans to vote him out. I used to be a fan of Donald Trump, but now I'm, I've seen his color. I cannot see how how he hates, how wicked he, he, he is to the blacks. No wonder the blacks never, 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 he never even looked at his at his face. No wonder he lost in in many of the blacks blacks um, community in America. Yeah, can you imagine? Whether the, um, Joe, Joe Biden support or not, Okojo Iwala is very much fit for that position. Unless the directors and those who are in charge of, um, of, 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 of the position now want to be biased and give the position to someone else. No problem. No problem. But with fairness, Okojo Iwala is the right person. Is the right person so my viewers please and please and please your comments concerning these are very, very important deem it free to leave your comments below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you